it. Hippie, drop it. Hippie, drop it. Hippie, drop it. Good girl, you leave it. Good. Oh my God. If you're wondering why I look tired this morning, it's because I decided, because Ken was working fire last night, that I would let the tiny poodle and the border collie puppy sleep in my bed with me together. Not a good idea. Not a good idea at all. I got woken up like a million times because they were being goofballs. Hippie insisted on chewing on a bone like right beside my head for most of the night. Uh, the puppy was actually better than the poodle, I'm not gonna lie, but now I'm really tired and <laughs> I need to get some energy because I have a meeting today um, with one of the other bridesmaids from the uh, wedding party for my sister's wedding. The stag and doe is in five days and it is crunch time. So I have that and a few other things I need to get to today. So uh, it's tea time. got to the training hall and Kale sent me a text, sent me a message saying that she had an interesting story about Hippie. So I, I can't wait to find out what this is about. I'm also a little bit concerned because sometimes Hippie can be a real wild thing and uh, it should be interesting to see what's going to happen. Well, let's, let's find out. Hey you guys. Yeah, I'm interested to hear the story, the interesting story that you have about Hippie. Uh, hippie found a bird. Okay. A bird that was not dead. Oh no. And she brought it over to me and wanted to show it off. <laughs> and thankfully she has a good drop it command and she did drop it when yeah. I said, but it was like blinking and breathing. Oh, that's not good. But I think it might have been playing dead and I, it didn't look hurt. She was holding it so gently in her mouth. Yeah. I was very, well, I'm not surprised, she's a poodle. I, like, that's what they do, but, mm -hmm. oh. Doesn't it sound was good. like it was as big as her head. Yeah. That's a little concerning. I mean, I, I wonder where did you find the bird? Where was the bird that she was uh, able to was, get hold of it? Because she's pretty little. It was beside a tree. I think it may have like run into a tree or something. Okay. It was laying on the ground beside the tree. Yeah. And then I saw it earlier in the walk. And so I just like diverted yeah. to a different location. Yes. Yeah. The dogs seemed pretty interested in it. And, and they probably made note of that. Yeah. And I didn't want them to eat it. Yeah. So then when we were walking back, I like kind of forgot and I walked near that area. And uh, actually what happened is I went up to like see where the bird was and the bird was missing. Oh, and right no. away, I literally was in the process of texting you, yeah. Funky ate a bird. Yeah. Because I thought for sure, like if somebody's going to get it, Funky's going to get it and eat the whole thing like yeah. really fast. Yeah. So then I look over to Hippie and she's like walking over, like on her tiptoes yeah. with this giant bird in her mouth. And then I realized where the bird had gone. She had picked it up. I don't even know how long she was carrying it for, but. It's like, it's like the unusual suspect. You never think it's gonna be her, but it was. Oh, I don't like things Mr. like that. Mr. Kobayashi. I think Kale's getting pretty excited about this upcoming wedding. The stag and doe is this weekend. And um, Kale has been planning with uh, some of the other bridesmaids. And uh, I know there's lots of like cool um, games and things that they'll be doing. And I know Kale's getting pretty excited about it. Yeah, we sort of had to make some decisions today about some of the things we wanted to do. And now that we have like some ideas in place and they're so funny, I can't wait. It's gonna be like, it's gonna be really fun. Yeah. I hope Lexi's happy. She should be home in, uh, well, she's nine hours away now. Uh, I've been tracking it by the hour because I'm so excited for her to get home. And just to give everybody some reference, like she's driving from across the country. She's coming from Vancouver. From Vancouver. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, across the country. Um, and they're moving home. So she and her fiance, Karen, uh, have been out there. Lexi's been gone for five years or so. And uh, we're really close, Lex and I. So to have her back for, 
as long as we'll have her. <laughs> hopefully which will be indefinitely um <laughs> i can't wait it's gonna be great we're just sort of hanging out at the um the outdoor fenced areas like the outdoor runs at um in front of the training facility and this is a nice place for the dogs to sort of go off leash you know some of our students if they want to practice some off leash skills this is a pretty safe place to do it but we're just sort of playing with the dogs and i know kale just came back from a big, a big walk but uh, we'll let the dogs sort of uh, hang out in here for a little bit just to cool down. Yeah, I just gave them a pretty big walk around the property. They were running pretty hard, so I don't really like to pop them in the car and take them home right away. So I just kind of let them mill around. I had a little snack, you know, it's a day off, just taking it real yeah. slow. Kale and I have been spending a lot more time on our side deck. Yeah, you've uh, you've seen Kale take a couple of videos from that, and um, we'd like to get some sort of covering, like when this, you know, when the sun's high in the sky and it's really hot outside. So we've just come to uh, a store in uh, the town nearby. We're gonna they're having a tent sale, so we're gonna. I mean, how appropriate that it's a tent sale and we're we're looking for an umbrella, but we're gonna see if we can find an umbrella or something for uh, that space. And we'll, check some of this stuff out in here and hopefully uh, we find something that's uh, reasonably priced. $2,000. No problem. I feel like I, I, feel like I want it back. Yep. So this um, shopping experience has basically been us just sitting down in chairs and complaining about how expensive things were. And that they need more padding. Yeah, most of, most of the chairs need more padding. We also came to the conclusion that we can go home and order a lot of this stuff on Amazon. Like for, the, for cheap, the cheap version of it, yeah. <laughs> so we basically come down to the fact that we maybe have two options. We either don't invite our friends over. Which is not a good option. Which isn't a very good option. Or we possibly order an umbrella, a cheaper umbrella on Amazon. I don't know if anybody's had experience with these things, but we're kind of thinking it's probably the right choice to just go with the cheap Amazon one, but you have to worry about the quality, I guess. It's just an umbrella. Yeah, I don't really know. We're gonna actually try one more stop and then uh, we'll see. We'll see what we find out. I'm like a kid in a candy store. We ended up at Costco to see if there's any like outdoor furniture here. And Kale found pumpkin seeds. And if anybody is He's familiar with Costco, it's, I, I don't totally know why we're here because we're either going to buy like a box of 40 umbrellas or like the world's largest <laughs> umbrella because Kale just, she just bought like six pounds worth of pumpkin seeds. It's like a bulk store you know if what? you're not familiar with Costco. You're not going to get any now. Kale thinks she needs reading glasses, but I think oh, she's just doing clear. it for the what fun of it. Say? Oh, it's 125. So that's like the easiest one. I don't think you need these. No, I always thought it'd be cool to wear glasses. It's middle of August and the Halloween stuff's out. Uh, who needs this much mustard? Like I love mustard, but this would be like a, a year's worth of mustard. Yeah, it would take you forever because I don't like mustard. That's a big thing. Thank you. No umbrella. Just seeds. <laughs> Off to our next adventure. <laughs> We are at the Hibachi Tapanyaki and Bar, and Kayla and I come here quite a lot. Uh, anytime we have like an agility people in or anything like that, we'll often come here. Or like friends. Or, or friends for sure that from are from far away. Yeah, so uh, we're here today with Kale's cousin and his family are going to be here and uh, they're visiting from um, Alberta. Yeah, so we can't show the, wait to show this off. It's uh, it's always a uh, delicious meal and it's a lot of fun to see it uh, get prepared.
Oh, my hand is. See? <laughs> Too bouncy. <laughs> that was really good. We always enjoy that place. We, uh, I didn't get the recording started in time, but I think we nearly were um, injured by the when the guy was warming up, like his yeah, tool. I've never seen one drop the knife so many times. Yeah, yeah. It we made it way more exciting. <laughs> way more exciting, because you weren't sure how it was going to end. And he wasn't a very good broccoli tosser. I'm going to blame it on his throws yeah. as to why I didn't catch it. Uh, well, and I caught one. I just, that's, we'll just put that in there.